Last month, I bought you a collection of some of the silly science beliefs which some of you held when you were younger. Now you all love this so much that I'm pleased to let you know there are enough left for another volume. So this is the return of the secret silly science beliefs. Hello all and welcome along to another episode of Tin Fall Tuesday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today, a word from me about today's sponsors, Ada Health. Now, did you know that about 75% of American adults have a risk factor, which makes them more susceptible to severe COVID-19, and some of them are unaware of that increased risk. However, with Ada's COVID-19 eligibility questionnaire, they are making an impact on access to care for millions of Americans. Their questionnaire is designed to help individuals easily understand if they have any factors that puts them at high risk of progression to severe COVID-19, and if they're experiencing symptoms, their platform offers connectivity to an independent telehealth provider for evaluation and, if appropriate, treatment. It's quick, easy and totally free to take the questionnaire. The best thing about this is if you take this questionnaire, they will not only get information on your risk status, but also easily get you connected to affordable telehealth within two hours and learn about your treatment options all from the comfort of your own home. Take Ada's free health questionnaire to see if you're at high risk of developing severe COVID-19 and find out if you're eligible for treatment. The link is in the description. Right, back to today's video, which as I said at the start, is the second volume of the Silly Science Beliefs. This time I'll be using some of the comments uh, from the original post where I first asked everyone to let me know about their Silly Science Beliefs, as well as some of the original responses. I want to make sure that everything is anonymous, so let's begin with this one. I thought that plastic was an element in the periodic table for an embarrassingly long time. Yeah, this one's not great, is it? I mean, I've known people before that have thought that brass and steel are uh, parts of the periodic table of elements, but plastic, no. Next one, here we go. That I didn't know raisins were dry grapes. It's not directly about science, but about nature. I always thought they were a fruit on their own. When I was 19 years old, I already was in university, I wondered if raisins grow on trees or bushes. So I casually asked some of my friends, that was the day I learned what raisins are. To defend myself, I never liked them, so I've never really thought about what they are. I think you'll be surprised about the amount of people that don't know this. Just like they don't know that sultanas and currants are also dried grapes, and that prunes are dried plums. Moving on. Now to be clear, it wasn't me, it was my girlfriend's sister, 25 years old. She was asking about the moon landing. So where exactly did the moon land? Oh dear, surely she wasn't serious. I mean, how can you be that oblivious? regarding your own species history. Wonders never cease. Next, used to believe my dad made the sun. Dad say, we can do anything, but not quite that. That's a little bit out of our skill set. Would be curious to know how they thought their dad did it. When I was younger, I believed that a Bunsen burner used in science class was actually used in the past to burn someone called Bunsen. Wow, that's a dark one. I think that I thought that it was invented by a guy called Bunsen. And of course it was. A Robert Bunsen, who, as it turns out, may or may not have been using some other people's designs when he first created it. A good one all the same. This technically isn't mine, but I once had a full on argument with someone because they were saying that gravity pushes you away from Earth and not towards it. I cannot believe that we share the planet with these kinds of people. Yeah, this does seem like an odd opinion to have. Especially when you notice that after you jump, you don't fly away. I'd be curious to hear their arguments there. I thought as a kid that the moon is mirroring the Earth's surface. The reason? The pale part in the southeastern part of the visible moon surface looks in its shape kind of like Africa. At least my children's eyes saw that. I wonder why no flat earther has seen that yet. Unfortunately, the flat earthers have. And there are many videos of them reacting to what they think are the Earth's continents reflected on the moon's surface. Whilst there is a tiny similarity, it really isn't there. If human anatomy counts, I once believed that urine was stored in the ball sack because I had never heard of a bladder. This was up until I was 10 or so. Okay, and where would a female be storing her urine under this scenario? Another funny one there. What else do we have? For a while, I did believe in chemtrails in the sky, even to the point of telling other people and even converting some. Not gonna lie, I didn't even really do any research on the subject, saw some videos, read some articles about them, but never against them. One day, I saw your video about them and you explained the reasoning behind them with examples and links so that I can go and check them out. So I did. With scientific facts and examples that can be recreated over and over again, I have changed my mind. I can't believe that I thought that the government was spraying us. This is my sad, silly story on how without proper research, anyone can believe anything if there is enough facts in the lie. 
looking at you flat earthers, lol. Thanks for your time. A lovely story in the end there, and I'm pleased you came to your senses. An interesting admission at the start there, that they didn't really do any research on it, they just watched some videos. Probably how most people end up believing what they do. When I was about eight years old, my cousin told me that nettles don't hurt on Sundays. Took little me three weeks to realise that's not true. As a trail runner who often runs on Sundays, I can tell you that they definitely do. A nice one to figure out on your own though, I'm sure. Moving on. I used to believe I was the next Jesus Christ. I believed it so much that I even tried laying hands on sick animals and trying to resurrect dead ones. It took some time and repeatedly seeing I was making nothing happen before I finally rejoined the real world and then eventually lost my faith and became an atheist. Glad that it all turned out okay in the end. Interesting to note here that the initial religious belief instilled in this person gave them enough confidence to think that they could heal sick animals with just their hands. Next up, until very recently I thought lambs came from goats, much to everyone's amusement. Yeah, this is an odd one. Why would you think that? I don't know. A lamb, of course, is a young sheep, and a young goat is called a kid. I used to think that when girls vomited, their puke was orange and that boys' vomit was green, based on myself throwing up orange soda as a kid. No clue what my dad had eaten. Lol. There's lots of boys v girl myths, isn't there? This was an odd one, actually. Maybe you should have realised it was the excess orange soda that caused the vomiting. Not whether or not you're a boy or girl. Moving on. When I was like eight, I hypothesized that couples conceive babies by simply sleeping in bed together, fully clothed, and that the seeds were wirelessly transmitted unconsciously upon sleep. I updated my hypothesis after seeing how my dogs perform. Yes, I'm sure your dogs did nothing of the sort. Mine likes to have a go at the cat bed. Another common one here. I saw a few derivatives of this while scrolling through all the responses. When I was very young, my brother convinced me that there was men under every set of traffic lights manually switching them when people pressed the buttons. What a job that would be though, sitting there turning the traffic lights on and off. I mean, we laugh, but I always feel sorry for the guy that's holding the stop go sign during roadworks when they haven't got any traffic lights. When I was a kid, my mum told me never to put a hot tea bag in the bin because it'd catch fire. So I didn't for years. Then one day, about 17 or so, I was putting a hot tea bag on the draining board to cool off and caught myself and thought, what the hell am I doing? It goes to show how a daft belief sometimes habitual because you don't stop to think about it. Yeah, we often believe everything that our parents tell us, don't we? Well done though for figuring it out for yourself, even though you were 17. Next up. When I was little, my brother told me light bulbs don't light, they suck in all the dark. Depending on the wattage of bulb, depending on how much it could suck in. What happens when you turn it off? It lets all the dark out. To be fair, when you're little, from your perspective, this explanation actually works. Why would you not believe it? Of course, when you're an adult, it become quite clear that it's nonsense. Had a calendar that showed the phases of the moon and saw the term new moon. For a while, I thought that meant there was literally a different moon in the sky every month or so. I was four years old. I think we can forgive you for this one if you're only four. I can guarantee you there are adults out there who perhaps think something similar. Used to believe that swimming pools on cruise ships were just holes into the ocean below. Yeah, I think that would have been a pretty choppy swim, don't you? Not to mention pretty salty and incredibly unsafe. But again, not an entirely ridiculous thought when you were young. I used to believe sugar was a coolant that was added to tea if it was too hot. Okay, this is a new one for me. I wonder if they stopped to consider all the other food and drinks that contain sugar. This one would have made for a great experiment when you were young though. My father told me that noise travels further at night, meaning when everything was still and quiet, I thought that there was something about light that actually dampened sound. Another interesting one to consider, and a hypothesis that could have been tested. A lot of these are about all part of being something human, hypothesizing something and then testing it. Okay, here's the last one. I used to believe that Labor Day was a holiday to celebrate all the mothers in the world who'd born children and had to go through, you know, labor. We celebrate that every day of their lives. Is that okay? Well, there we go. Another fantastic look at your secret silly science beliefs. But for now, we're all done and dusted for another Tim Ford Tuesday. I have really enjoyed these videos. So if you want to submit a secret science belief of your own, I'll leave the link in the description for the form, completely anonymous. Fill one in and we'll do another volume next month. Thank you so much for watching today. Again, it truly is appreciated. Uh, if you enjoyed it today, please do consider subscribing to the channel, hitting that like button and sharing as well if the feeling takes you. Here's another word from me thanking today's sponsors, Ada Health. Just enough time to once again thank Ada Health for sponsoring today's video. Take Ada's free health questionnaire to see if you're at high risk of developing severe COVID-19 and find out if you're eligible for treatment. I've been Simon and Dan. Have yourselves a great week and I'll see you Friday finally for that challenge from Santos Benucci. See you then.